Hi everyone. In this video, Apostle Joshua Selman will be teaching us on how weapons of hell are fashioned against us without us knowing. This video will bless you in a small way. Prepare to be blessed by this video production. Feel free to comment, like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much and God bless you. Don't you know that Satan uses our experiences to learn to? Knowledge is not just in the realm of men. Angels learn from men. Satan learns from men. Man is God's highest creation. So all other civilizations depend on his operation to learn lessons. Is the reason why the gates of hell continue to transit too. There are many things now that were not recorded in the Bible except by prophecy because then hell had not transited to that level. The devil studies men to grow. This is the concept of what we know to be familiar spirits. That means spirits that are domiciled within a territory and their assignment is to study men within that territory for a long time and archive the loopholes in men. This becomes their system of advantage. That's why people from territories are associated with certain weaknesses. Is the study and the research of hell for many years. They have built a, an arsenal of victory from the weakness of man. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is it life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Do not be ignorant of his devices. It's the word stratomai, his methodologies. He has his way of doing things. Don't you know that Satan uses our experiences to learn to? Satan learns from men. Man is God's highest creation. Is the reason why the gates of hell continue to transit too. There are many things now that were not recorded in the Bible except by prophecy because then hell had not transited to that level. The devil studies men to grow. Let me show you how Satan destroys men. When he wants to destroy you, he will arrange a buffet of fleshly experiences according to the many flesh faculties of a man and he will watch you the menu you pick tells him which part of you has not submitted to christ like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then he picks, spreads his wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars do not be ignorant of his devices. It's the word stratomai, his methodologies. He has his way of doing things. Satan is an opportunist. When he finds an opportunity for an applause, he's there to receive it quickly. Is God helping us? So there are many things we credit to the devil that the devil is shocked himself. Don't you know that Satan uses our experiences to learn to? knowledge is not just in the realm of men angels learn from men satan learns from men man is god's highest creation so all other civilizations depend on his operation to learn lessons is the reason why the gates of hell continue to transit too there are many things now that were not recorded in the bible except by prophecy because then hell had not transited to that level the devil studies men to grow this is the concept of what we know to be familiar spirits that means spirits that are domiciled within a territory and their assignment is to study men within that territory for a long time and archive the loopholes in men this becomes their system of advantage that's why people from territories are associated with certain weaknesses is the study and the research of hell for many years they have built a, an arsenal of victory from the weakness of man When Jesus was fasting, Satan knows that when men are hungry, hunger always takes men to Egypt. Hunger. Nobody calls men to Egypt. When you want a man to go to Egypt, manipulate the economy. And hunger will always take Israel to Egypt. So when Jesus was fasting, Satan was already sure he would beat him hands down. After 40 days, guess the first person he met. It's amazing that many times your prayer and fasting doesn't drive Satan. It invites himself. 
Jesus is done fasting and the first person who shows up is Satan. And he's not shaking under the anointing and falling. And Satan says, Jesus, so you mean you went this far? All right, turn this stone to bread. And he studied Jesus. Because a normal man will be too hungry to not take advantage of that level of power. When a door is open before you and you refuse to go, it's a level of discipline that men do not have. Satan was testing the strength of, the, of, of his submission to the Holy Spirit. And the first test was hunger. He was already full of the Holy Spirit. And he, could, he wanted to detach the flesh from the influence of the Spirit to see how powerful he was. Satan can test how much you are submitted to God. Not by asking you, are you submitted to God? He would do something to your flesh. And he knows that the Holy Spirit cannot sponsor certain reactions. So when your vulnerability reacts, it's already proof. It's a litmus test. A young man should not see a lady and not be, what's the word now, seduced? Aroused. Sorry to sound explicit. So if as a young man, you can look at a beautiful lady with two of your eyes, you are not praying, you are looking at her and nothing happens to you. Satan knows that your strength is being outsourced, is outside you. Let me show you how Satan destroys men. I'm teaching many things this night. Satan, when he wants to destroy you, he will arrange a buffet of fleshly experiences according to the many flesh faculties of a man. And he will watch you. The menu you pick tells him which part of you has not submitted to Christ. This is what he was doing to Jesus. So the first test had to do with hunger. Is God speaking to us now? Individualism, hunger, turn this stone to bread. And he said, no, I've crossed that level. I'm that yielded to the Holy Spirit and not even my appetites can frustrate his workings. And Satan said, well, I see you're a spiritual man. Let's go to test number two, your spiritual life. He took him to a holy city and dropped him at the pinnacle and the assignment was fall from that height. Are you not a benefactor of God's grace? Fall, he will put his angels charge over you. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord your God. The temptation of great men is to fall. That's how Satan tempts you. Because he says, God has made too much investment in you to allow people, to allow your fall destroy people. So it, he gives you the basis, the support systems to allow the flesh take advantage of you. He took him to a high, a holy city the third test when that failed he took him to an exceeding high mountain and showed him the glories of the world and told him all the people that occupy these mountains i put them there just bow to me business is a transaction the commodity of exchange let it be your soul and in reward i will give you influence over the systems I know your degree of maturity by your vulnerabilities when satan keeps a woman or a man and you turn and mind your business he will never use it again he will now think and say what does this man want then he will look at your landlord and say that's right he will do something to your landlord to make him insult you in a way that you will say anything I get that can make money now. God, if you will not come and help me. He touches different aspects of your life and sees the reaction. Because any part that has been submitted to Christ, you cannot feel the impulses of Satan again. So when he touches you here and you are dead, he knows it's a waste of time. But he will usually find somewhere. The way you will react, you will say, I found it. He will stay there and invent a system of touching that aspect of your life. We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.